Hello, sports fans. Zach Gallen has the Diamondbacks rolling in the right direction. Can the Diamondbacks make a push for postseason play? It is Sunday, second inning, and there are two outs. The Diamondbacks right fielder Dalton Varsho is racing 104 feet in an attempt to catch a deep right center fly ball hit off of Tyrone Taylor's bat. Luis Urias is running for his life to score from first, and Zach Gallon has little doubt his scoreless streak just came to an end. But something fantastic happened next. Varsho, with a catch probability of just 5%, according to StatCast, was able to not only outrun the ball, but reach up and pluck the ball from the sky, stopping just short of himself crashing into the wall. The out, which is the third of the inning, is all that is needed, and the team is coming back into the dugout. Gallon is still on the mound and he is stunned. After the game, Gallon comments on just how unbelievable Varsho's catch was. He assumed that it would either be gone, or at least honestly hoping that it would be a ground rule double. Either way, Varsh made an unbelievable play out there, and if he is not the best defender out there in baseball, he's certainly up there. The Brewers had one more chance to score off of Gallon, and it came in the seventh inning. A fly ball to the warning track hit by Hunter Renfro. That's it. No one else came close. Seven scoreless innings. The D-backs won 5-1 and beat the Brewers three games to one in the series. Gallon's scoreless streak is now up to 41 the third innings and is the eighth longest streak in live ball era. Live ball era, or in other words, since 1920. Gallon is now the fourth pitcher for both the NL and AL since the year 1900 to throw six or more scoreless innings in six straight starts. The other three are Don Drysdale, Oral Hershiser, and Zach Greinke, who was the last to do it in 2015. For the D-backs organization, the record for most scoreless innings is owned by Brandon Webb, who tossed 42 straight back in 2007. 59 scoreless innings is the top number, and that record is held by Hershiser, who accomplished that feat in the fall of 1988. When Gallon was asked if he thinks about what he has accomplished and how it affects him, he admitted he does, and sometimes thinks about it too much, causing him to lose focus. A good example of this came on August 24th against the Royals, where he started off slow. However, since then, he said it's been easier if he just focuses on getting outs. Gallon was also asked about chasing Brandon Webb's record last night, and he said he felt that at that point, he was right there, and that he might as well try and see what the deal is, since he was only an inning away. So he was going to just try, since his job was to go out there and throw up zeros, and it kind of falls in the line of doing his job. Except Lavulo said there was no thought of having Gallon out there for the eighth inning for a chance to break the record since the right-hander was already at 103 pitches. Lavulo did not want to push Gallon any further. Here's what else skipper Lavulo had to say about Gallon. I'm Zach Gallon, uh, who gets the nod. He gives a seven scoreless. He continues to stay locked in, um, just you know, pounding the zone with, with a really aggressive fastball. Looked like he started to land his curveball um, a little bit later, maybe from the second inning on. And once he got that going and threw some cutters, um, he, he just became very dominant, and he's on a great run. He's working his butt off. Well-spoken words from Coach for Gallon, who was just named August's National League Pitcher of the Month. Gallon's next matchup will most likely be next Sunday against the Rockies at Coors Field. The week break should give him plenty of time to rest his arm, and as the Diamondbacks try to make a push for the playoffs, it's important Gallon and the rest of the bullpen stay healthy. My impressions? The D-backs are playing great baseball right now, and it's the right time to do it. If they can keep this momentum going, they may have a chance to sneak by some teams. When they are on the field, there's an energy, a fire. They are winning, and they are having fun doing it. Coach Luvillo has them on the right track. All right, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you click that bell to get notifications for my next video. I will see you all next time.